Welcome to the Q Sports International Expo. This is the Diamond Las Vegas Open. 128 players, so I aim for a $15,000 first prize. This is the second of five U.S. Pro Billiard Series events, sponsored and presented by Q Sports International and Predator. The game is 10 ball. Race to four, winner breaks, best of two sets. If they split sets, we go to a spot shot shootout. And it looks like uh, Scotter Woodward won the break. This is George Teache in the booth with Jeremy Jones. Hey, George, and a great winter side match by what I consider two of the upcoming players in our sport. I mean, of course, Skyler's got that name, but still, still looking to improve on his big table and his big table wins. Aloysius Yapa, a guy that I think is going to be around for a long time, keeps it simple and not the start that. Skyler was looking for. I was thinking about that lag, and of course you want to break first, but almost just as important, in my opinion, if you go to that shootout, I like to shoot first. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah, that, so that lag is important. Yeah. Uh, and what Jeremy was referring to is if they, they split sets and they go to a spot shot shootout, whoever wins the opening lag will be shooting the first spot shot and picks the side. Yeah, or has the choice to. I mm -hmm. haven't seen That's anybody really defer Decline? Yeah. yeah no now this is a funny little opening just because of the five ball being there the two seven combo not hard but he may have to play it with some angle that way he can move the cue ball a little bit free and make sure he gets a shot on the two is he going into the two here it looks like it no he's, no, he's gonna to, play the combo yeah but he's trying to get that little angle like i was talking about right there because you figure the two to go forward a little bit off the seven, and, and that five's a big ball there, George. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because they can really come into play. So, yeah, I see what he's going to do here. Yeah, he could make them both. We don't figure. If he makes them both, he may not gain that position on the three he wants. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Now, watch Aloysius. Uh, he's a guy that I really like a lot. Great, great guy to be around and just... just... I like the fact that he's left-handed. <laughs> well, that's, that's one thing, but... I love his game, too, so I've watched him on the outer tables. In my opinion, he's struggled so far. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's just really plays the game really clean. Doesn't usually overhit the ball, but I watched him in his match yesterday, and he went to a shootout with a countryman of his, but I think the match was a bit closer than it should have been. Well, this is a winner's side match. It is the third round. Uh, actually, the winner of this match will be in that Elite 32 that goes to that uh, single elimination round. Yeah, it looks like he's setting up for a 6-8 combo here in a, a couple of innings. Natural to hold for the 5 to swing around the table for the 6-8. And the, it's going to be an action-packed day 4 here at the Vegas Diamond. Because we are taking the entire final 32 into day four. I found that out mm -hmm. on our break. So it'll be five rounds of single elimination tomorrow before we get our, our champion. Tomorrow's a big day. A lot of it right here on this table, right here in front of you folks. Yeah, he'll catch the third rail here and try and drop straight in on that 6-8. Doesn't want to have much angle at all. Wants to be very heavy, just like that. And I love the way that that the third rail just kills your cue ball and uh, floats it to the side to the corner of the rail. Yeah, it just gives you a lot of room for error with the speed mm -hmm. of the shot, mm -hmm. which is always comforting. And Aloysius, he's been in the country now in Vegas for, if I remember correctly, about a week. So they came plenty early, him and Shark. Shark is another Singaporean player that... Syed? Yeah, he's a guy that went to Lindenwood, spent a lot of time with Mark Wilson. Uh, graduated from Lindenwood. A finance degree, if I remember correctly, and back to playing pool full-time now. And Lois is making a clean run out here after a big error with a cue ball off the table on the break, something you don't see very often at this level. Yeah. Skyler, uh, Skyler's progress from here, he opened up the tournament uh, playing Oscar Dominguez, defeating Oscar Dominguez, then he defeated 
Darren Appleton. So he's got a couple of big guys under his uh, under his belt. Aloysius, on the other hand, uh, defeated Tyrell Blowers, a young, young player, a very good young player. And then Lian Hanto. Yeah, like I said, a fellow countryman of his. Mm -hmm. A man that's probably been the best player in Singapore until the last few years with Aloysius coming up and then Shark as well. Now, one good thing for Skyler, even though he's in the chair, you know, sometimes you draw tough in these tournaments and you're wondering, you know, hey, would I like that little bit of a softer draw for the first match or two? But you get through a couple big wins, it can mm -hmm. really uh, do wonders for you, you know, as you go further in the oh, event. So. Exactly. Both players are within one point, one Fargo point apart, and at 800 and 801. So these guys are definitely in the top 100. In fact, they're right around the 11 uh, mark. Hold on a second. Let me get that right for you. All right, he's got to take this on. Looks like he's got a natural path to come to the short side of the two. Kind of where the cue ball's at now. No, I was I was incorrect there. They are number 30 on the top 100 Fargo list. Both of them at the same, uh, tied at number 30. All right, he's got to kind of smooth it in, even though he's some distance away. Yeah, he can't put much into the cue ball. Watch out. Uh -oh. Watch out. And it's just something he had to flirt with. Skyler just walks away from the table in disgust. Yeah. And <laughs> with a smile on his face, just shaking his head. And the, well, the thing is, you know, he's a lighthearted player. And the one good thing about that is, is I don't think it was misstruck. It was just something he had to gamble with. Mm -hmm. So he can go to his chair, of course, not liking it, but at least not too worried about his next opportunity. Is it, it like, you know, when you miss hit a ball, it can be very alarming, sure. right? So. Aloysius with an open table, and like most of the players today, very efficient with the open tables. And I'm wondering if he gets through this rack, if he changes the break at all. Talked about it a lot in Arizona. You can't be stubborn, huh, George? No. No, but if, if it's not working, change it. Watch your opponent. If he's doing it right and getting good breaks, and you come to the table, you know, follow suit and emulate. He's just pinching this cue ball for a little angle. I gained quite a bit of an angle. So. Mm -hmm. so you'll Not too much to worry to about. 28 10? Yeah, slowly. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to come in there too hot with the cue ball, yeah. but. <laughs> go back up behind the 10 now. Yeah, go back kind of <laughs> at the 10 here and you may just drift by the 8. You definitely don't want to contact the 8. If you yeah. get a little below the 6, not a big deal. Nope. Now he just floats in position for the seven, whether he wants to play for the corner or for the side. Yeah. I like I think the corner. I like, uh, this may be one I go three rails. No, uh, really? Just because unless you fall real nice on the seven, mm -hmm. you may have what? to move the cue ball towards the nine to get back out. This looks real natural to, to me to go around the table for three rails uh, to get shape in the side. Now he's going to play for that corner. Uh, he got perfect, so yeah. that was a nice shot. I just laid white for that, and, uh, and then just opens everything up here. Yeah, simple's better, that's for sure. And if he, you know, if he falls with a big angle on the on the seven ball for the side, well, then he's got to run the cue ball. Right. Well, you know me, I'm a corners guy. Yes, sure. I. <laughs> I think it just keeps you in stroke. It builds confidence. It keeps you from some really big errors. You yeah. might miss a ball. That you ain't supposed to, but I'm like Earl, take the side pockets off the table. <laughs> I'm just kidding, folks. <laughs> I like side pockets. If I'm straight in, this looks nice for Aloysius. Two, two, um, two racks, two little yeah. X's. Yeah.
Boishes to break the balls. Leading 2-0 over Skyler Woodward. Breaking from the center. Attempting to make the two balls behind the one ball, which would be the seven and the six, the four and the six, into the side pockets. I'm sorry. Yeah, it seems it's the like eight. The yeah. eight and the seven are behind the one. Yeah, it seems like to me the four railer has been the most consistent ball. That'd be the five or the three. The five on this one because he's breaking a little bit from the right. I really got pissed. Of course, he didn't hit the one so flush. That 10 ball was headed for that side pocket. That ball doesn't stand in the way. Yeah, well, on this match, Skyler's on two fouls, uh, meaning the only two shots he's had, he's jumped the cue ball <laughs> off the table, and then he cut the one in and scratched uh, kind of cold-bloodedly all the way down the table. So yeah, well, He's got to be careful. We are playing three foul rules. <laughs> yeah, right. It doesn't lose the match, though. Uh, no, it doesn't kidding, lose the match. Man, where do you roll out to here? Yeah. And uh, the reason I pointed out that the 10 ball was headed for the side pocket is the 10 ball does count on the break, as do early combos. Now, if you're wanting to keep up with the Americans, Billy Thorpe on the outer table playing a one loss side match against Warren Kamko. Warren, one of the steadiest players in the history of the game, in my opinion. I think he's just got to roll out long to an edge of the one here on the lower. Uh, you know, down here by the scoreboard mm -hmm. on the lower left part of your screen. Maybe he's rolling out to a kick here. He's going to touch. Oh, maybe he can. There's an edge of the one that he in between the two and ten here. I, I mean, this is a looks to me like a very tricky rollout. There's no kick to the side rail. I don't think with the three and the four there. There must be a little bit of the one. And man, what a ways to go with the cue ball if you have to just. Barely get between the two ten to get at the one, George, huh? I he mean, might he might be gone. I don't know where he's going. With I thought I thought maybe there's a, there's a path between the three four, but no, he's aiming right at the one. Yeah, with a little right spin. Now he caught the two, and oh, and just for that being so tight, I think Aloysius made a good call. I mean, it sure. did It wasn't easy from that distance to get between that space, you know. So. Especially it looked like he had to put a hair right to do whatever he was doing with the shot. So now he's swerving the cue ball from eight, nine feet away. I actually have done things like that where I swore I can get through the through there, through the window, and you just don't. So it makes you question your eyesight, my eyesight. Well, when the uh -huh. balls get a little toggled, right, it'll really fool you. Mm -hmm. You know, if they're right next to each other, you can easily see it, but... If one's a little behind the other, sometimes hard to get the perspective to see if the cue ball will really fit through a space. That looks pretty perfect, besides being over the eight a little bit. Now these are tough when, well he's gonna be able to, oh no, he's queuing over, he's elevated. Yeah. Just don't let it kick on you. You got options on the three. Don't, you don't have to dead slow roll this. That looks pretty nice. Well, maybe yeah, he, he pass came down. Ball. He came down, so he's gonna have to short side the four. Still okay though. Mm -hmm. I mean, the ball's off. The four's off the rail. Yeah, can't let stuff like this bother you. Now the thing is, can he roll into position or does he have to stun a little bit to make sure he doesn't collide with the four? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had to stun, so made the touch a little harder, right? So. Yeah. He'll just come down past the side pocket for the five. Now, I'm not sure how much further past the side he'll go. That'll get him a little flat. Uh, he may stay above this side pocket. I'm not sure. Yeah. He wanted that angle, you know what I mean? And mainly to get the cue ball off the rail to be able to put a little spin on this to come one rail towards the 10. This is a shot I call, you gotta use a little talent when coming into position with your speed control. He won't use a second rail here, I don't think, huh, George? No, second I don't rail think so. gets He'll him thin on the six. He'll just so. put a little, little bit of left. Oh, he's doing a little bit of draw. No, he just came right up. Perfect. Yeah, pretty good. 
Probably has a choice to shoot the seven in either pocket. And he's another one of those guys that... Go with the flow? Well, he's very, very uh, efficient, but mm -hmm. also, like I talked about yesterday, when you're really playing your best pool, it's kind of like one task at a time, you know, shoot this, go two rails there, shoot mm -hmm. that, go one rail here. Don't get too involved with it, anything else, as best you can anyways. Looks like to me he's very comfortable on this table so far though. He's moving the ball very, as you said, efficiently. Yeah. Good look at those Predator Arco balls, the Panther insignia on that eight ball, the reflection of the Predator Arco light, uh, arena lights. Quickly, Aloysius is going to get to the hill here in set mm -hmm. number one. And we are playing playing on the Predator, Predator Arcadia Cloth. Yeah, Arcadia so Reserve. At 3 nothing in the last match when Alex was leading, we talked about maybe a little experiment with the break. Mm -hmm. Maybe the same here with Aloysius. I mean, he's had two dry breaks, right? So... Would, wouldn't be bad, yeah. That's a good point. And we're watching John with that predator, new predator triangle rack, folks. The ball, this rack's ball is real nice. Easy to move, easy to maneuver, easy to handle. Very little actually contact with the balls. Racks them tight. This to close out the first set. Remember, it's two sets of four. If that'll force Skyler to win the second set, so they can go to a shootout. Yeah, he won a match yesterday in the shootout yeah. against Darren. Against so Darren Appleton, yeah. Every one of those you go through has got to you know, get you a little more confidence. Mm -hmm. He's not changing much unless he changes the speed. Put a little more into those, but not much. Now, try yeah. again. I think he'll quickly lose that break, in my opinion. Well, I did like the way his cue ball acted after the break. Yeah, but it's about making balls, you know. Yes, it so is. <laughs> that's why you'll see the guys cut the ball, you know, they'll do other things because it's pretty to squat the cue ball, but mm -hmm. if you're not making if it's one, not you're a, selling Yeah, if you're not out, making it, so. that's exactly right. Okay, he needs to gain a little angle here on the two, and the seven's got him a little covered up. So he may have to take a pretty thin cut shot on the on the three here in a moment. We'll see, especially from this position here. Wow. Yeah. He got real flat on this. He's going to have to come down and take that extreme cut. Well, he can come back in between the eight and four. I'm, if the point wasn't involved with the draw stroke here, you might see that. Hmm. But otherwise, this is the cut shot I was talking about, having to take the cut on the three and go back and yeah. forth for the four. Looks like he's trying to just stun a hair to get off the rail like that. One of Skyler's best shots, in my opinion, a light stun. Now, speed is important here. Do you play off the third rail here, George? Looks I, to me that that kind I of think, agrees well, with Well, actually, the shot. if he just goes to the two rails and goes towards the four, he can go to the corner with it or the side. Right, but I'm wondering if he if he just he tries to go to two, he could get underneath it and not have a pocket for the four. I would try to go to the third rail like this. You yep. may get a little thinner on the four, but it's always going to be playable. Boy, actually, that one really moved, huh? Well, I was going to say, after watching him hit that, I don't know that he could have held it just the two right, rails. Right, two rails. Well, <laughs> he have yeah. to go to the third. This Sky. is funny. This is kind of like... It's tight. It's, yeah, not it's only a, a tough pocket, shot, yeah. but you have to address the cue ball a little bit, I think. Oh, he slow rolled it, so that'll tell you how the nerves are for Skyler here early in day number three. They're pretty good. Yeah. A lot of guys would stay away from having to roll that ball like that or, or try and do something else to not have to roll it. 
Well, he is a two-time uh, Moscone team MVP. Yeah, I'm very deserving those two mm -hmm. MVPs. And he'll tell you more importantly, America getting a win. <laughs> That's a big one. We're looking for another one. Is it December? Yes, it is. Seventh through the eleventh in Alley in Alley Pally, right there in the heart of London. Well, it's a little on the, I think the north side, but up on the hill. Beautiful, beautiful venue. Some 160-year-old building, I think. You get to go some pretty nice places, Jeremy. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, I live in a nice place, Tucson, Arizona, but uh, uh, it's nice to travel to places like where you're going. <laughs> yeah, and, and nice to know people when you're going mm -hmm. as well. So that always makes it easier. Well. Oh. Oh, my, Skyler. Ouch. Yeah, something we talked about yesterday a little bit with a couple mistakes he made. Skyler, a big change in his game a couple years ago. He really developed that pause at the cue ball before the last swing. And that one was a real light pause at the cue ball, so sometimes he takes the cue back a little quick when he doesn't hold that mm -hmm. pause. and Just got him there. He's going to have to shake that off because... I don't see Aloysius missing this, even oh, though no. it's not not easy. Oh, he lost a cue ball. Just overcut the nine, that's why. Well, there's two shots in a row by two pro players you don't see very often. Yeah, and Aloysius played perfect so far besides the dry breaks and then that mistake on the nine there. But I can. Scowler to break. Trim one to three in the first set. Deja vu of yesterday. Yeah, he did. He did that to us yesterday too, did. In between sets there, a little break. Thank you, Jeremy. I did that yesterday, and I think I talked for like about five minutes with it up. In fact, my friend uh, Doug Preston. Doug Preston uh, texted me and said, put the mic next to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's got to shore up that first break here. Cue ball off the table, really not acceptable. Well, that's, there's that ball was four rail and got a kiss. Needs another kiss to really survive this first set. It's not going to happen. So Loisius is going to have a good opportunity to get started here. Got to move the cue ball some from the two to the three, maybe a 4-10 in his sights later on in the rack. Oh, wow, yeah. You know, with the six being there, it may give him a little bit of a bigger pocket, but I think it is a playable combination. Yeah, that's where he'll want to get, roughly center-ish of the table on that line to where he can come two rails off the two for the three in the same pocket. Big area here. Right, kind of stunned that ball. Didn't get anywhere where he wanted. A good six to eight inches short at least. Yeah, it stayed pretty thin on the two. Yeah, he kind of stunned it. Kind of slowed the cue ball down a little bit. I thought he would load it up with spin and really open the angle on the cue ball more towards the center of the table here. But Still very doable here, but when you get a little thinner on a shot like this, you lose speed control on the next shot a lot of times. So could get straight or could end up a little short. Uh, he recovered nicely there. He wants it to slow down, though. He wants to play that 410, I believe, anyways. Took a good look at it right there. Uh, how's he come out for it? Uh, I guess he's looking to see if it goes by the nine. Uh, doesn't yeah. appear to on the on the screen on the monitor. So try and come back for the combo going two rails. And if I get to where I don't like it, I can always land behind the six, maybe coming off the four. I got a lot of options there. Mm -hmm. Main thing is stay off the rail with the cue ball coming off this second rail. 
Keep this four is tight here going by the nine. I, uh, I'm with you. I, uh, if I can get on this uh, combo, I'm taking the combo. Got back there, and he may even have a play he, on the he board on the side. I think he probably still takes the combo, but we'll see. Right, he's gonna play the four on the side. And that's what I thought. If he overran, the five plays up mm -hmm. long. He's got to cue this though. I don't think he can hit this with a high ball. Got to hit down on it. Does he have to worry about the? Uh, no scratch, really. The scratcher? No. no, not. That's okay. why he has to draw it because mm -hmm. he can't oh, afford I got a high you. ball. I see what you're talking about. Oh, and he missed it. And that's a little bit what I saw in the first couple of days from Aloysius. Mm -hmm. Not saying that was easy, but it's a ball he usually knocks in. Uh, so I saw some struggles watching him, and even though he, he went away with some wins, which is nice. Well, he's playing a player that can hurt him for that, for those kinds of errors, even though he's left a tough shot here. And the five barely goes by the six, so it's not something you want to shoot from miles away. You can't really overcut the four to the right rail and run the cue ball because the eight's in the way. So super tough here. He's taking his extension. Both players are out of extension now in this game. They have to get in trouble. They're going to have to rush through it. Yeah, there's like nothing great here. Yeah, no, this, <coughs> this, is, a, this is a tough shot. Yeah, it looks like the cue ball is definitely going to have a lot of distance unless he contacts the eight here and maybe escapes somehow and comes up the table. But yeah. That was just a tough spot. Hmm. And nothing easy for Aloysius either. Much easier shot than Skyler's, but still no picnic. Yeah, well now yesterday we saw Skyler come with, gosh, two highlight reel shots on his match versus Darren Appleton. <clears throat> Today he's uh, falling a little short of that, that, I guess you could say expectation. Well, he's elevating here because he doesn't want to lose a cue ball. Wow, what a nice stroke that was. That was more that calm swing that mm -hmm. I really love seeing from Aloysius. Okay, he's lefty. be interesting to see if he tries to lay on this rail to be able to reach this and draw straight back. Yeah, it's going to be some angle there. So now I don't know how he's going to play this, George. This he's is gonna, funny. He's going to have to be careful with the eight ball. Cueing, you mean fouling? Yeah, yeah, fouling over the eight ball. He's going to be uh, over it, so. I don't think he can easily come back straight for the right, upper right corner on the seven. And if he has to go top English, he's, I think, maybe has to go in between. No, he's drawing it. Two rails, I guess, maybe? Oh, he pinched it nice. Wow, what a big stroke. Wow, he, he really made that angle look like hardly mm, any at he all. Did. Nice, soft, soft, smooth stroke. Brought the ball back, what, four feet, five feet? Yeah. Really nice. Just eased it back. Yeah, he was happy with the side pocket. You know, if you get to the mm -hmm. side pocket right there mm -hmm. and not having too much cut on the seven, you're pretty satisfied. But he got an extra foot and a half out of it. Well, Skyler's not happy with what he's watching right now. He wants to be at the table. Yeah, and he's going to... If Aloysius gets out here, he's going to have to wait because Aloysius will break in game number one of set two. I think that's another winner side match there between yes. Edgy oh. Geronimo and Sanchez Ruiz, I believe, anyway. Uh, we could find out pretty quick here. Sanchez. Yes, it is. You know who I haven't seen? I've seen Ruiz, but is Al Katie here? Yes, I okay, saw him. All right. he, I saw him over at the Predator booth, in fact. Okay. You rarely ever see them two apart. Top two players from Spain. And Spain had some other guys coming up some five or six, seven years ago, but I'm not sure where they're at. I think they have two other players here right now. Okay.
Aloysius, yep, to break the second set after winning the first one, four games to one. We are at the Diamond Las Vegas Open, part of the Q Sports International Expo with the BCA National BCA World Championships and the USA National Championships. And soon, a couple days, the Predator World Ten Ball Championships, which is a WPA tournament. Changed his break a little bit, moved over to the left just a hair. Well, a little bit more that way mm -hmm. and a little more speed. Uh, that, earlier he played like a 60% pop, you might say, mm -hmm. something like that. Here he tried to get a little more into the rack, which I love seeing that the guy's got a rare back and crush him and see what happens a little bit. I think that's uh, I think you'll see the guys play great pool behind it too once they get comfortable. Yeah, and, and they're still not breaking, you know, full speed. No, they're still no. breaking 60, 75 percent. Yeah, I think it was uh, Tucher is the only one that I saw really unload. This is a little tricky, isn't it, with the two being a little tight? Uh, he just gave us a peek at it from that angle, and it looked like it went by. But he's playing it in the side, so it will go by there. Yeah, and that's a good shot. He's got a couple pockets. He was always in control coming down mm -hmm. the table, right? So. Yeah, it looks like he's going to start off with a break and run. One of the few left-handers. Uh, ones that come to mind are Jason Shaw's here. Can't think of too many others, actually, that I've seen that I can think of right off. Justin Martin. That looks like Justin. It does look like him, yeah. Yeah. Kind of long match from the earlier round. Now, does he come around the six here, or does he just hold on the short side? I like that choice. Just tell. You know, when the nine's not there, the ten's not there, you can really have a little freedom trying to come mm -hmm. around that, because if mm -hmm. you kiss it, you still have an open pocket somewhere. But we've all kissed the back side of that and then not had a pocket for the six because the nine may have covered it up or whatever. But back in control now though just very similar to the first three games of set number one he smoothed out from the first set to this one well, Aloysius like most of the great players gonna keep it simple until the table tells him otherwise. Mm -hmm. Nice break and run to start off the set. Yeah. Not in um, Skyler Woodward's favor. Now we're in a shootout over there with Justin Martin, it looks like, unless that's a long 10 ball, but it looks eerily similar to the shootout. <laughs> It is. John Lehman racking the balls with that uh, new triangle rack from Predator. John didn't like something he saw, so he's going to yep. change it. Do it once again. This is the Diamond Las Vegas Open. It's being played on diamond tables with Predator cloth. Predator balls. Arena lights. The Predator arena lights. Lo 
Polish just to break the balls. You know, I was just thinking about it. Skyler really hasn't got to pocket many balls in this match mm -hmm. at all. I mean, it's been just a few, just a handful. Just got to wait patiently. Right, seven, seven ball track, side. perfect. He's yeah. found his break. And the pocket going to open up here. Don't and think so. No. Oh, the one wow. six, not too bad. I think it's one he'll. Good chance he takes that on. Maybe he edges the one and drops the cue ball behind the six for a safety, simple safety. It's not one that's going to get you ball in hand, though. Those are rare at this level. I think he has to shoot this a bit, though. He can't just kind of roll it, I don't think, anyways. Hate to roll this in and bump the four and get behind the ten or bump the four and slide behind the eight. You may see him shooting this, trying to free up the cue ball and the one mm -hmm. ball a little bit. He's going to put a little draw on this ball. It's not guaranteed a shot that even if he makes a six. Yeah, he which tried he to, didn't. He tried to hit it lightly. I thought that was a tough way to shoot the combo. But he did see himself being able to hold for the one that way. So mm -hmm. that was the reward of taking on a tough combo. If he makes that ball, the one ball is just a little bit to the right of where it is now. That Skyler likes it. He gives him a early up to the table to set. Well, he's got to let the cue ball go here a little bit. So watch out. Don't lose the cue ball somewhere. Uh, that's going to be okay there. Now, is he going to get to where he can cue it well enough to get on the three? I think so. Yeah. He's ended up very nice. Yeah. Should just come one rail up a little bit, take a little angle on the three to get on the four. No reason to draw this ball. No, just to come up right to the right of where he uses now. Yeah, just chip, yeah. you know, kind of flick it in with a hair of that English. Mm -hmm. Get the line on the cue ball you want. Yeah, enough angle to get out for the four for the same pocket. You see that heavy pause there that, and healed it. He thinks that that's probably one of the biggest changes he's ever made to help his game. And it's a simple change, but it's so important. Looks like he's going to shoot the gap between the 10 8 just to get a little more natural angle to get on the 6. Mm. Had plenty of ways he could have done it. Yeah, he, he did. He could have stayed above and used the bottom rail to come up for the 6. But This is much easier, and it, it leads to the eight ball easier, too. Perfect. Skyler looking good to tie things up here in the second set. this one so I don't know if a, a scratch is involved here or not I gotta watch out he's not gonna over hit it and scratch one around the corner though okay for the second set after dropping the first set four to one Hasn't been up to the table too much in the first set. Yeah, he leveled the tip out a little here. I like that. Don't try to get so much hop. Get a little more cue ball into the rack. Yeah, trying to create a little more power. Is he going to squeeze one in on the five? He made the one. No pocket for the two so far. Small pocket up in the corner. Is the three in the way? I think so. Now, if this two six lays nice. He may take that on. Looks to me he's not, though. He's going straight to the safety here. And he's got to get this by the six, maybe contacts the eight a little bit, just rolls the cue ball up on the ten. Six three, trying to chop the two on the eight and maybe call the eight in the corner. 
corner. He's got a big pocket with the seven being there. So. Took his time with that extension, didn't he? Yeah. And I'm wondering how he's thinking about playing this. I commented that I kind of like coming across between the 6-3 with some speed. I think the 8 is makeable. And from this kick shot, not very makeable at all. Probably a soft kick here. Yeah, but I just, it was very hard to get safe with the soft kick coming it in was. from that angle. <clears throat> Maybe if he would hit the left side of it. Yeah, he was trying to roll and lay on mm -hmm. top of it, I think, mm -hmm. something like that. Well, Scott are in position to uh, Run these balls. I'm gonna get straight here. Almost. 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 Yeah. Good for Skyler. The seven's over the pocket. The six has a full pocket by the nine. We looked at that earlier, but he's gonna. He's close to the four. He could stun a little bit here if he wanted. Is he really gonna travel two rails for the side here? With the seven over the pocket, he only has to get the shot on the six. Uh, this is what I would have worried about, laying thin on the rail on this ball, and he almost scratched. Whoa. Yeah, I don't understand that play there. Is that a confidence thing there, George? I mean, normally I, you know, he takes on the corner on the I, six there. I, I would think that it was a corner. That's yeah. I'd be mean, playing the six ball. Yeah, that's, and again, you have to recognize the ball ahead, the seven, very playable. So watch for the overcut. That's the tendency here on the miss for these guys. Oh, he hit it nice. It's going to make the 10, but it's not going to count. No, it's going to get spotted. Shouldn't cause any problems. But. Had, he, had he called that, he wins the game. But it's one or the other. And the way these balls lay, he's not too worried about winning the game. This little shot can be tricky, though. Yeah, he shouldn't roll it, I don't think. This guy usually would stun out to the center here like that. Much more confident way to shoot the ball. Mm -hmm. Get, re grabs that lead here in the second set at two to one. Got to have this set to get to the shootout. Now both these guys are on the winner's side. So whoever wins gets into that final 32. Whoever loses will have to win another match to get there. I'd rather win it now. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, not only that, mathematically, mm -hmm. when they do the draw, 16 undefeated players will draw a one-loss player. So... At this level, it doesn't have to make a difference. You could certainly draw the number one player in the world from the one-loss side in this type of event. But you kind of think percentage-wise, you, you'd rather draw one of the guys who have a loss, right? Sure. We have some monsters on the one-loss side. Oh, of course. But, you know, odds are you, you have a better chance to draw better if you stay undefeated. Justin Martin gets knocked out of the event on a shootout. Never saw either one of them miss, but he had to have missed at some time or another. Ooh, he had it going that way. and Another kiss, kind of like yesterday when he played Darren. When you send the cue ball towards those sides, even though it wasn't going in, you could say it's a little unlucky to get a kiss, but it's a little on you too, George. Mm -hmm. Keep it near the center of the table much <clears throat> harder. Give you an idea of some of the players on the one last side. Uh, James Aranas, Oscar Dominguez, 
Jesus Atencio. Yeah, you could swap oh, them yeah. almost. Ruslan, Ruslan, uh, Chinahov. Chinahov. Yeah, just saw Ruslan this morning. Mm. Good to see him back playing. He said his things are coming around. He's going to be in the States probably two to three months. He likes playing that straight pool event that's always played right before the international. The Kaiser was sent over the one last side. Yeah, he recently. lost this morning. Now Yuki Oi. Yeah, I think Oi lost to... Who did he lose to? Another great, great player. One of the uh, top players yeah, in the event. I, I, in fact, I... I walked by that match when he was being played. Okay, tricky business here. He's got to get across the table, which isn't that big a deal, but he's really got to get a nice, somewhat of a nice angle to try and get to the backside of the five or play a tough five seven combo. Let me draw this ball here, taking Straight the chance, back. right? Yeah, draw towards the seven. Uh, I you can do it. Yes, yeah. I, I I think so. Because if go he goes by the, the seven, he might go into the five. If he does yeah. that, he might get a shot out of it. If it happens, yeah. you know. The five passes the nine. So if the nine wasn't there, hey, draw over and play the combo, right? I mean, that's not that bad. But with the nine being there, I think I might take a chance at drawing behind this five ball. I think you just draw right into the seven, just like you said. Yeah. We're up here just telling the guys they should be able to do that with no problem. I mean, yeah, it still requires a ton of execution, but oh, he's hitting a, like a. Oh, he's going Oh, he's hitting downward. Oh no, he's stunned for the combo. Let's talk about a super tough combo. Elevated, three or four feet away. Got to cut it. Got to move the cue ball to get gain position on the five. Can't just ease this in. That was surprising, I thought. Maybe there was more angle there than I thought, but it looked like he had to hit that with a lot of stun just to move it two rails, so that makes me think he was heavy enough to draw the cue ball back as well. Yeah. Do you think he would even entertain the thought of going rail first? Off the seven? I don't think. I think he may play a safety first like this, cross no. corner or something like that. No. And the funny thing is, I know they're nine ball players mainly, but... I still thought that they would recognize those kisses. You know what I mean, George? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And that was a kind of a two-way shot there trying to get safe if he didn't make it. Skyler settled for the long shot on the six since it's handy in front of the pocket. Yeah, simplify that long five ball. Sure. Problems here, I don't think, is there? It's taking a long time here. I have normally long for sky. The nine's over the side, so just coming. Yeah. You know, you're going to catch the second rail near where the chalk is. He just That's exactly down, where so. it is. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure what if there's something he sees that we don't. Maybe it was just a little thinner than we thought. Maybe Sky is not that comfortable yet. Maybe that has something to do with it. Well, this is going to be comfortable on the hill. Three to one. Once he executes these two, two balls. Well, that's probably a big word. This format's made to make it to where you don't get too comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Three to one. Second set. Skyler breaking. Yeah, and he's changing his break mark uh, where he puts the cue ball considerably here. He moved it over a good foot. I think that's what you got to do. You got to change. There go. No, it doesn't go. You gotta that's change it up a little bit. You gotta get to hitting them with a little more speed, I think, at times. Okay, he's got a playable one in the side or the corner. I'm not sure what the corner does for him though. The side is no uh, great 
I think he goes by the three with the cue ball if he plays the one on the side, so that's not that great either. It's like he's wanting to take the one on in the corner. So he's probably got to elevate the cue a little bit. He's indicated that. And he heard your suggestion, because otherwise that cue ball tracks right at the side pocket, doesn't it? Yeah, and no yeah. position on the two is the main thing. You know, if you're going to take on this shot, you want to get some position. Now, the good thing for him is he might be able to move the 10 into some type of early win position, because the 5-6-8 is really ugly. Sure, how I can really do that, but make the nine and leave the ten ball there. Yeah, not sure it really gets him anything though. You get some hard shot on the three. And yes, it does. Now with the four hanging down three to one, if you want to take on this three in the side, you will open up probably the five, six, eight in some fashion. The uh, cue ball's got to go in that direction, right, George? Sure does. And, and there isn't right a great safety either. Yeah. So. I this, like him shooting at this in the right side pocket. Yeah. The side pocket on the lower part of your screen. I mean, I'd, if, Good if look at Scott in the chair. Yeah, I mean, what safety do you really like in this position? Look how open the center of the table is. All the other balls are near a rail, so that means it's hard to get them behind the ball. I'm right? with you. I think he just takes a shot at this uh, three ball on the side. I think so. Cue ball goes right at that five. Yeah, which is exactly what you want. You might steal this match with this shot right here. If you get out. He's yeah. playing safe behind those balls. Yeah. So you got to like Skyler from here, though. It's a tough shot, but position's there. He made things a little easier trying to, you know, the 5-8 combo is playable now with the six being moved. So, would you even consider? I just I glanced at this. Would you even consider banking the three ball at the ten? Mm, I don't think so. No, that's not when I have a you know, pop. Pocket. Trying, trying, no, I get it. You trying to play a four rail safety. Yeah, you got a big pocket. You got a big but, pocket there, and it's lined up real nice for it. I think if he buries this, he gets out. That's what I think. And just bearing is the, what a good shot. Yeah. What a good shot. Yeah, but that's what these guys do, George, for a living. Especially, you know? this, young, especially <laughs> this young man right here. Yeah. They, he really comes with some shots, and he came with one there. Yeah, one of the best at just uh, leveling the cue out straight high English and having to knock the ball in. Now, is he going to size up for a cross side bank here? I think if the six wasn't there, he would play the five-eight combo. The five-eight's not hard getting the five off the rail into the eight. The thing is, it may go into the six mm -hmm. and then have some serious problems. So, but this is a you know, anytime you got the ball froze on a slick table, this bank is no uh, easy shot. No gimme. No. This is the kind of shot that will surprise you sometimes and come short from nowhere. Like you think, man, I'm trying to make it come short because it's froze. Yeah, like that. You see how far short it came. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And that's the one you just don't don't anticipate that on the TV conditions. So. Great call right there. Yeah, you see his face. He didn't expect that at all. And the ball just bites a little different at times. just in a great position here. Just got to get the cue ball a little, maybe center, a little past center. Wow, what a shot to drop that between Go those Go between balls. them, yeah. 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 I didn't think that was necessary, but again, these guys are at the table, so they see a lot more of what's necessary than we do. Sometimes it looks like a natural angle for them from there, and even though it's a small area to come to, they don't have a problem with it. Smart shot staying above the seven here. Now he can ease it in, and if the seven comes over just a little bit, the cue ball will be closer to the center of the table. Doesn't anticipate it coming over, but just in case it does a little bit. You know? mm -hmm. 
interested to see if maybe he even changed sides on the next break. Although he's made balls the last couple times he broke, although he's just had, mm -hmm. he turned up the volume a little bit with the speed and has made some balls. So. Ooh, man. I hope he draws this. You don't like him following? The well, way. Could he kill on the head right? Exactly. When you're, yeah. when you're hitting into a full ball like this, you just don't generate as much easy speed. So now if he cheats it and smooths it, he should get there. But Man, that should work. Hmm. This will put him at 3-2. No, I'm definitely in striking distance. When you start these matches, you're in striking distance. So. <laughs> the break. Aloysius Lap. Yep. Winner of this match will go to the final 32. Join the list of flying players that will be redrawn and go into a single elimination. Tournament. The loser will face another opponent on the one loss side. No, it looks dry yeah, with a shot on the one. I think he's got a shot on the one. He'd love to have a 210 because the 356 are not that great. Looks like you can maybe play the one off the five and open things up if you wanted. It's close. Could drop him behind the five here as well. He's calling the one, so this may be off the five here. Yeah, bring the cue ball straight back for the deuce. Yeah, the thing Just is, little. the angle should, tells me he's got to hit it with a little speed or else he could get this one into the bottom rail off the five. I think he's okay, though. Yeah, like that. That's what I was worried about. With the draw English, you know, mm -hmm. it kind of goes through that five ball. Well, he got a big roll here, though. Yes, he did. Moises is going to have to elevate the cue to swerve around the eight to get to this long left rail here, like that, like he's, or he's going to have to go up table by the three. It looks like, and kick some three rails behind it, maybe. Yes, sir. Attention, please. Got to hit just past his side pocket on the left, right where he just indicated. Yeah, that's if he's both ways swerving and mm -hmm. you know, I'm looking to see if No, it looks like he's gonna swerve it. Yeah, I thought it so you get a good feel for it, you know, you figure to hit it. You definitely don't want to give up ball in hand. The thing is you're not gonna get a ton of speed on the cue ball, even though he got a lot more on it than I thought he would. And it just leaked out to give up a shot in the side pocket. Skyler. Yeah, but that's important not to give up ball in hand. The three's tight. It does go in the upper left, but the four's tight by the seven if it goes at all. So, did a lot not giving up mm -hmm. ball in hand right mm -hmm. there, in my opinion. I mean, I think, you know, rarely ever bet against these guys doing anything, but I'd have to bet against Skyler or almost any of the guys getting out from here. This is tough. He's not only got to get on the two to get on the three, three to get on the four. He's got to get from the five to the six to the seven. Yeah, and they're all. I mean, this is tough. This is tough, yeah. Yeah. Just the first two shots. Getting on the three ball to me looks like where are you going? You drawing off the four here? I mean, the three doesn't pass the. It doesn't go by the six. It doesn't appear so. Yeah, it's anyway. got a natural. It's natural if it goes by the six, but it's not. Yeah. So how does he get to the right side? Yeah, I would have maybe rolled that in softer and looked for the safety here, maybe. Is, is he playing the 2-7 to bring the 2 up table? Wow. I think so. To bring the cue ball up table. Well, the 2's got to come up table as well if he, if he makes the combo. But yeah. Well, he didn't give up much. Uh, he's going to be locked behind that 8 pretty good, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's giving up a lot. Offensively, yeah. excuse me. I mean, he's a step away from Hill Hill in the second set here. Sure. He doesn't want that. No. He wants to go into this uh, he's calling shootout. This. 
He must be very confident going forward with the cue ball to get it behind the six here, or, or the three, I guess. Maybe behind the nine? I'm not sure where he's going with the cue ball. Yeah, if this hangs up... Well, it's a confusing play to me, George. I mean, I thought he could easily roll the cue ball on top of the eight there. Mm -hmm. I understand he liked the shot getting behind the six and holding for shape on the three as well, but... I like the rail first here for position on the six. On the combo? On the combo on the yeah, three yeah. six. Four is pretty low. He's going straight up. Oh, he could do that, okay. That's better position on the three six. Yeah, he's gotta keep control of the three here though. One way or another. Or he can hit a high ball and carry the three with the cue ball a little bit. Well, this is what Skyler needs. There's a little exercise at the table here. Does he have to elevate? This is tough, though. Yeah, he's got to elevate. Tough. So speed's important. Can't go short, too short, but definitely can't afford to go past the four ball. That looks pretty good. Again, near the rail, so may have to elevate again a little bit. Doesn't want to bump the five, really. No, not necessary for inside English here. Just straight high ball. This looks good. Four balls to send us into a shootout. Yeah, and a little bit of a surprising decision on that bank by Loisius. Slight angle on the nine so they can come down for the ten. I'm not sure if you'll catch that second rail here or not. He did. It's going to lay on it almost. Yeah, it was a shot you could kind of float back mm -hmm. into position or catch the second rail. Players are tied. One set apiece sends us into a four inning shootout. Players will alternate sides, will shoot from where the check mark is. They pick a side and shoot to where the arrow points in the r bottom right hand corner pocket or the bottom right hand left. The highest score wins after four innings. If it goes beyond four innings, and they're tied at four innings, they move the ball back one rail, one diamond. Yeah, and then they'll do the same. Mm -hmm. Schuyler, who won the lag, has the choice to take the first shot if he chooses and the side he chooses. So that lag at the beginning is of course all important but even more important in the pro player series in my opinion I think you both come off pretty hot but still a good spot so one for one for Sky he was in a shootout with Darren Appleton in his last match and he won that uh, three to two yeah, I think four innings. I think uh, we talked about it yesterday that if we see this move on and on and on, as the tournament goes, I think we're going to start to get like 40 to 50 percent shootouts in matches, something like I that. I think so. As the talent narrows or, you know, equalizes later in the tournament, cream rises and uh, well, we'll see more of this. Yeah, and you know, we follow up this tournament with the Predator World 10 ball, which is a race to eight. You could say that this is similar to races to four, but for some reason, when you, you know, you kind of end that first set, even if you lose it in a bad fashion, unlucky fashion, or a fashion you just don't like, starting that new set is just kind of like something that regroups you. You sure. can kind of leave that behind you. You're not involved in that set anymore, and it's just easier to move on and play better pool. In the second set, which is going to lead towards shootouts. 
Now they've alternated sides. Both players will shoot from this side and then back over to the other. That was a sweet stroke there. So far, we've only gone to one shootout that has gone to sudden death. That's right, I believe our first one, maybe. Mm -hmm. There is a time clock on the shootout, so. If the cue ball scratches, it nullifies the shot. It's a miss. Has to be pocketed in the straight in pocket. No bank shots. John Lehman with putting the ball up. It is spotted directly behind the spot where the 10 ball spots when you rack them. You can see there is a shot clock involved even in this Ooh, shootout. Mm -hmm. These guys are two for two. Inning number three about to happen for Sky. Ooh, squeak that one home. Cue ball a little hotter too because he overcut it a bit to the top part mm -hmm. of the pocket. We saw one scratch on an outer table yesterday. Yes, we yesterday. did. Yeah, it went three rails and scratched into the side pocket. Yeah, it, yeah. Looked, it looked a little on that line and a little hot when you and I were watching it. And, and the player looked over and went, "Oh wow!" Yeah, pretty he knew it as soon as the, as soon as you let it go. Forgot who that was, though. I'll think of it in a moment. But back to business here. Loisius needs it. Now that was center pocket. This is where other players have faltered. set it up where you're hitting a, a centerish ball no matter what if you're stunning or like here a high ball but you don't want to set it up on any type of scratch possibility with that high English oh, that one, his last three have been really clean so now essentially sudden death for Aloysius mm -hmm. gotta have it mm -hmm. one of the advantages you think of going first it forces him to feel like sudden death. Yeah, right yeah, away. definitely one of them. And, and the thing about the going first, unless you let it get in your mind, you know, like a guy misses behind you and you mm -hmm. say, oh, all I got to do is make this and I went, you know, something like that. But you leave behind all those, I got to do this or this has to happen. You just get down and you're looking mm -hmm. to make the ball when you're going first. Just clear your mind. Yeah, to move to sudden death. Uh, sweet stroke there as well. Now you'll see a graphic, I believe, where they show where the cue ball is going to be placed. One diamond away from the head, the head rail, and one diamond out from the side. Same principle, yeah. alternate sides. The main thing is we're backing up a diamond closer to that top rail, which not only changes the cueing, uh, but definitely makes the shot a little tougher. I don't think he's, I wouldn't ever do this to side. Yeah, I don't think, he, I think that's an, something he's just kind of like looking at. He's definitely going to cue off the end rail, I think. Oh, this is very surprising to me. Don't you think, George? It almost looks like a one rail scratch possibility well, as well from. This tells me. Uh, I think he's going to change this, isn't he? No, he's shooting right from there. Well, yeah, I was going to say that. Looked to me like it would lean towards an overcut. And to be frank with you, he wasn't sure where he was going. And you would think that he would have already had this shot in the practice room a few that, times and knowing where he's going with the cue That's ball. the point I was going to make is you would think that he'd been practicing this shot so he'd know automatically right away since there is a time clock on it yeah. uh, that he would know where to shoot from. 
Well, and just not knowing, period, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, now he, do I really like this? Or, you know, just because he had maybe hadn't put in as much time. But maybe he's put, he shot it more from the other side. That's a possibility. Okay, that's true. So, okay, he makes it. He Delicious. advances to the 32. And, and he it made sweet. it. So Skywood will need another win on the one loss side to get to that 32. Aloysius will be back tomorrow.